I have nothing on the calendar for today. I'm not doing eyeliner, it's Saturday. Laundry, and then I'm focusing on cooking. Good morning, it is Saturday, and it, this is just not a typical day for me to be vlogging at all. But I thought that since I had nothing on the calendar, I, you heard that, I have nothing on the calendar for today. A bunch of my kids have things on the calendar, uh, the driving kids, they have things on the calendar to do. I'm telling myself this right now, I'm gonna just let the living room go, the school room go, the porch go, it's gonna just turn into a kid free for all, I just know that right now. For me personally, I'm gonna be focusing on laundry and then I'm focusing on cooking. Peter's been asking for uh, tacos and so I'm just going to start getting a whole bunch of meat out and making a bunch of meals for this week. Warren is outside right now. He has to um, fill the wood racks and then he's also going to uh, change oil in one of our trucks. He's coloring okay, you can color, that's fine. <clears throat> Oh, right, it's his. You'll have to find your own coloring book. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get things done in between all of that, right? Sam is still laid up with his um, broken hip, of course. That's gonna be, um, we're looking at, I guess, six to eight weeks of crutches and then some pretty, pretty substantial physical therapy afterwards. He can sit on the couch and read some books to kids and stuff, but as far as helping out with cleaning bathrooms or uh, grabbing food from the basement and stuff like that for me, I'm, I'm on my own. Amber's gone with a friend to horse tack swap. Emily is at work and should be home in probably two, three hours or something, and then Nick is off with friends. I think working on a motor or an engine or painting a boat or something like that, whatever 19 year old boys do, right? So that's kind of our day. Even on a day like this, I do still try to put myself together a little bit. Um, so I'm just gonna give you a really quick tip here. Um, I am, I'm gonna show it to you. I am a makeup bag kind of person. Yep, you see an X there. We went to comedy last night. That was really a good time. My quick tip is this. When I want to get ready fast in the morning, which is just about every morning, rather than taking out one thing that I need and then having to dig back through here to find the next thing, I just take out everything that I'm going to need and I'm going to just dig through here once. I'm not doing eyeliner. It's Saturday. I am going to do some eyeshadow though. So I have everything I'm going to need. And as I use the makeup, I just toss everything back into the bag and it works so great for me and I'm not having to rifle through this bag all the time. So I hope that helps you all get ready a little bit quicker in the morning. It just saves probably two minutes off of my uh, getting ready time and it would save a whole lot more if I wasn't videoing it the whole time. So I'm gonna just put a little makeup on and then we're gonna go and pull out some meat and start cooking. Okay, so I'm done. I just took a quick peek at the clock and it only took me two minutes and 44 seconds. You know, putting makeup on in the morning, it's not something I do for somebody else. I just do it for myself because it makes me feel more professional at what I do. I, I tend to get more done and feel like I'm a little bit more ready for the day. You know, you just never know what's gonna happen. I like to get dressed right down to the shoes. I've got on just kind of a pair of leggings and just kind of a work shirt here, but it's nice enough to go someplace if something arises and I have to go. So that's why I like to get ready in the morning um, as soon as I can. Although you did see, right? Did you see that clock? It's almost 11 o'clock, but it's Saturday. So that's what Saturdays are. Okay, let's get on with the day. I just came up with, from the basement freezer, with a whole pile of ground venison, and then I also have some ground beef in there. I'm gonna use the ground beef for the tacos, and the ground venison, I'm going to uh, make a double or triple, I'm not sure yet, of chili, and then I have plenty of ground venison under there to make a double or triple of Hug and Kiss soup as well. I just realized though that I only brought up three jars of tomato juice so I'm gonna need to bring up at least two or three more for that. Oh, Peter's got stuff to show us, just a second. And I also cleaned off the island because that's the best way for me to start out my cooking day is to just make sure that this spot is clear and ready to cook. Okay, Peter, show us. So this is, it's a boat, that's me, that's Noah, that's Rachel, that's the cop flag. Uh huh. That's the America flag. And I wrote Peter on it. That's the back of, this is the trailer town. Those are the trailer wheels. And that's the back of the truck. Nice. Yeah. I like it. 
Since I'm starting with frozen meat, I really have to be a little bit creative here. So I have all my beef defrosting in the microwave. We'll see how that goes. And then, yeah, this isn't working, is it? I've got all my venison in here to defrost. I've mentioned before how much I love my lodgeware uh, cookware, but yeah, you know, your eyes are bigger than your stomach. I think this time my eyes were bigger than my than my pot. But I hope this isn't indicative to how the day is going to go. I just stabbed myself and my meat's not fitting properly. So I hope that it, this is not a sign of how the day is going to go. I really wanted to get the meat at least work on getting it thawed because as you can see I have a huge stack of dishes and I need to work on that. Just always trying to use my time as wisely as possible. working on cutting up black olives and tomatoes for our tacos tonight. My venison finally cooked down enough so that the lid would fit on. The ground beef is thawed. Uh, what else has happened? The dog peed in the porch. Warren came in. He's over here doing his favorite job here, which is trying to get the kids to clean up and uh, refilling the bookshelf. Maria Jean, did dad tell you to pick up the doll clothes? I'm just rinsing some beans for chili. And then it's going to be on to, I think, chopping veggies for soup and shredding cheese, which is what Peter wants to work on. He's going to do the cheese. I'm just checking in again to show you where I'm at in the day. It is actually quarter to three in the afternoon, and I'm working at a much slower pace than I thought I was going to be working at. So there's always so many distractions. And then lunch, which if you've either watched some of these videos maybe or been a reader of my blog in past years, you know that lunch is not my favorite meal to have to do. And then especially when I'm in the midst of all this cooking, but Warren was in, he helped out, and together we got kind of a whole bunch leftovers uh, warmed up and eaten up. So here is where I'm at right now. I know that this looks really bizarre. This is actually minestrone soup, but I'm missing because over here I made a list of different things that I'm making, like the chili and the hug and kiss soup and the minestrone soup and the different things that I'm missing. And I just put a, uh, I made a little note so that when I go to the grocery store later this evening to pick up my giant Walmart order, I'm just going to run into the store and get a few of these things that I'm missing. So anyways, the minestrone soup, soup still needs eight vegetable bouillon cubes, two 15 ounce cans of tomato sauce, and I need two cans of garbanzo beans. And then it's actually going to look like something. Right now, all of the herbs, because this is chock full of herbs, um, marjoram and basil and thyme and celery, uh, seed, and just all kinds of things like that. So that just looks odd right now. And then this over here is the hug and kiss soup. I still have to cook up the barley to put into that. If you are trying to eat a little bit more low carb, what I often do and what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to take out two quarts of soup uh, before I put any barley in it and then I'll put the barley in for the rest of the family because that's how they like it. And then the same with the minestrone. I'm actually making this for someone that just had a baby and so uh, who is vegetarian and I thought this was a great recipe to do and so I'm actually going to scoop some of it out for me um, first before I put the little shell macaroni in it. It's going to be time to regroup because I have quite a mess going on here. Peter did all the shredded cheese and then I have some meat juice that I have to dump outside here. I filled the sink again with dirty dishes but this is a double batch of chili in here and this one is a single batch of chili. This I'm going to pop into the re into the freezer. Once I get the kitchen cleaned up here, I'm going to get this cooking up because this is actually going to be for supper tonight. It's going to be tacos. All of these recipes are either already on my blog, www.camphomeschool.blogspot.com. Otherwise, I will be putting them on there. I just have to uh, start up, I'm just going to start the dishwasher, wash up these last few things, and then I'm going to get that uh, ground beef started uh, frying. And once I get that done, I'm going to switch into some sweets and desserts. So in the summer, I grow a lot of zucchini, and this last summer, I think I froze about 50 or 52 packs of zucchini. I just have one pack thawed that I'm going to make into chocolate zucchini chocolate chip muffins. That's a family favorite. And then I do have this pretzel dessert that I was talking about a long time ago 
ago. I've actually had to buy the strawberries twice now, but I think I'm gonna actually dive in and try to get that pretzel dessert made too. So um, I'm gonna give you a quick little peek though into life outside of the kitchen. This is what's happening. She doesn't mind it. She doesn't. This is her first bath. Yeah. This is her this is her first introduction to YouTube too. <gasps> Eska, say hi. She's shaking. She's scared. Are you scared? <laughs> I like that too much. Oh, you like that? No. Nope. Yeah. Oh, there she goes. There you go. Oh, oh there goes the towel. Stay down in there. Yeah, good girl. So Eska is a dog pound uh, rescue dog. So there was a whole bunch of puppies there and Amber finally beat us down enough. But anyways, we finally agreed to uh, get a dog. Again, outside of the kitchen, I have um, Warren and a whole bunch of the kids went to check traps. And then Sam is actually with his broken hip and all. He was just really, really getting sick of sitting around in the house. He actually took his airsoft rifle and his 22 out and a whole bunch of milk jugs. And so he's blowing holes in milk jugs and trying to have fun. Oh, she's so shaky. Did you like that? I don't think she did. <laughs> I don't think she's cold. I think she's just scared. Hmm? You're good. Ew. You're good. Oh, yuck. She's clean. A lot of soap went in her mouth, so she's fine. A smiley face. Smile for me, too. <laughs> You're sweet. Are you going to help me fill these muffins? Whoa. That was quite a shot. Someone's shooting up milk jugs. Oh, Sam's shooting his gun. He is? Yeah, with Peter, and Sparky, Emily, and... Oh, and now Amber's vacuuming. here but the house is finally quieted down. Amber's just doing up some dishes here for me and we got the little kids in bed. Everyone just kind of took a break after supper and was just kind of laying low. Amber put together this pretty cool puzzle. That was pretty cool. And then Sam, since he's laid up, he's really really struggling with finding things that he can do because he's such an active kid normally so his birthday isn't until July but he just made up a birthday wish list <laughs> so those are the kinds of things he's doing to keep himself occupied but I am finally going to make this strawberry dessert that I mentioned before um, however as is normal I noticed that I'm out of mandarin oranges so I'm just going to make it without that. There's already strawberries in it and pineapple juice, so I think that should be good. Here's what's left of the muffins. I was hoping those would be for breakfast, but everybody ate them for dessert tonight. So that's just how it goes, but hopefully, hopefully we can get this dessert going here and then um, call it good for the night. So thanks a lot for uh, hanging out with me today while I cook for my family, and um, be sure to check out the my blog that's where all the recipes will be thanks have a good night bye bye A pretzel base and then a cream cheese sugar layer and then there's the jello and fruit layer <clears throat> excuse me um, I'm just gonna put this into the refrigerator overnight and tomorrow I will top it with pool whip and then I guess if I had more strawberries what really would be pretty is to put strawberries on top of the cool whip that is it this is definitely not a super quick dessert it's actually pretty putsy so I'm glad that I waited until everybody was in bed to work on this just because there was a lot of steps. I'm just going to do up some dishes here and it's time to get into bed and spring those clocks ahead. Mm -hmm.